Nerd Army, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the most ultimate MCU tier list. Normally at the end of every year I do the ranking worst to best before. You know what, today we'll mix it up a little bit, man. I'm gonna do a tier list. Tell me if you agree or disagree. This is definitely not factual, bruv. This is just my useless nerd opinion. I ain't a critic. I just sit in this chair and talk to the Nerd Army. That is it. If you think I have lost the plot though, let me know down below. Join the Nerd Army if you're new. Uh, we're trying to get 50k by January 1st. Let's start this thing, man. And we've got the standard categories of God tier, epic, very good, Average, bad. You can get in that goddamn bin, bruv. I have added everything on here up to Loki season two. So we've got everything in the MCU. And let's do this, man. I think I was gonna say this is in order, but the first one's the Incredible Hulk. So maybe it's not in order. Maybe it is, maybe it's a little bit jumbled up. We shall see. Incredible Hulk, uh, I think is dead average, man. I didn't love it, I didn't hate it. Score-wise for me, it's like a five out of ten. Don't kill me, bruv. I'm just being real. Iron Man, I mean, this is going straight to epic. God tier, by the way, just means it's a ten, like god tier status for me, bruv. Again, this ain't factual. This is my useless opinion. Tell me if I'm wrong down below. <laughs> Iron Man 2. This might shock some people, and by the way, we will put it in order, you see what I mean in a minute, and I might revise everything at the end. I'm actually gonna put very good, it probably will be like low very good if I'm being honest, but I like Iron Man too, bruv. I always come back to revisit it, uh, and I think it just gets more hate. I mean, if you look at that compared to Phase 5 stuff, it, it's pretty good, bro. it's pretty good. First thought, again, I'm gonna go very good, I'm gonna put it under Iron Man 2, Captain America First Avenger, I don't care bruv, I'll go an epic. I'm putting it under Iron Man, but I think it is one of the most underrated MCU movies just ever, bro. Red Skull's amazing, the first, it, it's just too good, bro. I don't wanna go too deep into it, I love that movie. It's getting epic status. First Avengers, bloody no-brainer. It's going god tier. I mean, look at that. That's what I would say is the best movie so far for me, easily. Iron Man 3, I'm going to put average, but I will put it in front of the Hulk, man. I do think it's a better movie for me. Thor The Dark World is bad, mate. It's a bad movie, bro. Uh, Score-wise, it's like a four. It's not bin worthy, but it ain't good, mate. Cap Winter Soldier, yeah. I'm putting it in god tier, bruv. Uh, and I'm going to put it in front of the Avengers. I think so far, yeah, that, that is the best movie here. Guardians of the Galaxy, I am going to put in Epic. I'm going to put it... I'm going to put Guardians of the Galaxy in front of the Winter, uh, Cap, the first Avengers, sorry. I, I think it is a better movie. I'd be lying and chatting shit on camera if I'd say that. But uh, yeah, no, nah, I've got to keep Iron Man in front for now anyways. Now, Age of Ultron, this might surprise some people. It's going Epic. In fact, it's going in front of the first Avenger. It's not better than Guardians, but I love Age of Ultron. I think Ultron is one of the most underrated villains in all of the MCU. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep my man there for now. I think that's fair. Ant-Man, I'm going to put at the top of average, if he wants to go there, bruv. There we go. Uh, I think, for me, yeah, I'd prefer Thor. I'd say Thor, the first movie, is a very good movie. Um, that's like a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Ant-Man is a 7, so we'll leave it at the top of the average for now. Navy average is, is not the right word. Captain America Civil War is going right to number one. I think th that is a beyond god tier movie nearly. It's so good. I've seen it so many times. Here comes probably the first genuine shocker. Uh, I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it number one of Epic is Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is my favourite comic book hero of all time. And then after that we've got Iron Man and Spider-Man. But I think as a film, Iron Man is probably better than Doctor Strange. But for me, Doctor Strange means more. So I've I I got to put it at number one of epic. Guardians Volume 2 is definitely epic. Uh, I would put it... Do you know what? Actually, no, I think I prefer to watch the first Avenger over Guardians 2, so we'll, we'll leave Guardians 2 there for now. Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna leave it there for now. You guys already know I'm a Marvel fanboy, so this list is gonna be... There's gonna be a lot of epics, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I prefer it to Guardians 2. Uh, I don't know if I prefer it to Cap First Avenger. We'll leave it there for now. Thor 3 is an absolute banger. Would I put it above Avengers. We'll leave it there for now. Score-wise is a 10. It's definitely God tier. Black Panther is so goddamn epic. I'm gonna put it here. I think that is its rightful place for me. Uh, Infinity War, I said bare times. Um, it's, I think, still the best movie in all of the MCU. It could be. Could be my favourite movie ever. I know that's crazy. And you're getting a heads up of a future video that's gonna come out in December. So, ooh. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, that movie is everything for me. Next should be Captain Marvel. So I know this list is like completely jumbled up, bruv. But we move. We're going to Endgame. I'm gonna put it straight behind Infinity War. If it wants to go there. I think that's the perfect lineup for me. Um, Civil War. 
has got like more rewatchability, but I think overall for me, I think Endgame is is too good, bruv. Far From Home, we're gonna go, I'm gonna put the bad boy here. Very good movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp. I don't care, bruv. We're going bin, mate. It's going in a bin. In fact, hold up. Captain Marvel, bin as well, bruv. I cannot stand them movies. I've been a record bare times. I know you lot might be like, what the actual F? Ant-Man and the Wasp. Snorefest, bruv. Pure Snorefest. Ghost is a villain, terrible. Captain Marvel, Snorefest. In fact, I'll be bloody fair and do that, mate. I think now it's fair. Uh, yeah, no, Ant-Man and the Wasp is, is, is very... Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, one division. I'm gonna put very good, top of very good. I think that's fair. Uh, Winter Soldier, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I leave it there, man. I think it is very good. Uh, would I prefer it to Ant Man? Probably, if I'm being honest. Loki season one was straight up epic. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of epic just because rewatchability. I would prefer Guardians two, but it's it's epic. I give it nine out of ten. Sticking with nine. That's only season one, by the way. I do believe there is a season two, so we're good to go. Black Widow, mate. <laughs> Bad, stinky, winky. At least Yelena's good. That's the only reason I ain't getting bin, bruv. Uh, but it is bottom of bad. I'd rather watch For the Dark World than Bloody Black Widow, mate. Just keeping it real. Right, the next one will shock people. Or it might not. If you're subbed, it won't. Uh, what if, for me, absolutely god tier. I'm going to leave it at the bottom of god tier. I love the stories. I love how they link together. It's got some of my favourite Doctor Strange moments ever. And... Uh, Infinity Ultron is arguably one of the greatest villains in all of the MCU in the top three for me personally He's so sick so scary Shang-Chi I'm gonna put right at the top of very good if he wants to go there. What are you doing Shang-Chi? There we go Eternals Wham get out of here you actual piece of <laughs> Mate Eternals Said it bad times Bad times It is bin Get in the god Damn, Bin is so bad. The worst thing in all of the MCU. Spoiler alert, nothing will be under Eternals. I cannot believe how bad it is, bruv. Let's just fucking move on, mate. <laughs> Hawkeye, I'm going to put Hawkeye in average. I'm going to put it above Iron Man 3, under Ant-Man. Or should I put it up one? That's a good one, man. I need to re-watch Hawkeye again. That's interesting, because I like the Christmas vibes. And I would actually genuinely imagine if I watched that in December, it'd be pretty goddamn sick. No way home. It is going to God tier, ladies and gentlemen, and it is going to go right there, mate. Third from the top. Do not care with Doctor Strange and how much I love Spider-Man and seeing all the Spider-Men, the story, multiple villains, multiverse stuff. It's too good. It's too good. For me, it is like a smidge better than Civil War just because of the things inside it. I love it so much. Uh, but yeah, that, um, yeah, hopefully you get what I mean. Moon Knight, I'm going to put in very good. I'm actually going to put it Top? Nah, 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 that's too much, bro. I'm gonna put Moon Knight here. I think that's fair. I do still think One Division's better. I do need to rewatch Moon Knight. I've seen it twice, but I've seen One Division like four times, bro. Uh, Shang Chi is definitely running the top of that list or that section easily. All right, and now to shock the world, ladies and gentlemen. Multiverse of Madness here. Yeah? I'ma put. I put it there. I don't give a single f. This is your boy's useless video. <laughs> I know people are going to be like, what's going on, mate? Doctor Strange means everything to me. I'm getting multiple versions of him. I'm getting Scarlet Witch, one of my favourite characters ever. It is horror. I love horror. It's like this movie was made for your boy. For me, it's odd tier. I, pref I prefer it to Avengers. I know that's outrageous, but we move. <laughs> this Marvel... Oh, Jesus. I, I'm really sorry. It's been, mate. For me, it is... Been worthy, bruv. I, I really, really couldn't stand. Actually, you know what? Do you know what? We're gonna change the bin. We're gonna change up the bin, yeah? I'm gonna put Captain Marvel in bad. I'm gonna put Miss Marvel in bad. Those two fucking stinkers, they're staying in bin. Do you know what? I'm sorry, Captain Marvel, and I'm sorry, Miss Marvel. You are fundamentally not bin worthy, uh, but you're stinky bad. You're very bad. Bin should be for the proper stink. We, let's continue, mate. Thor Love and Thunder. I'm going to leave it at the bottom of average because Gore the God Butcher was so good. I love Christian Bale. Maybe I'm, like, pushing that too high. I, I, I'd rather watch Thor 4 over Thor 2 and anything else in the bad category. Next up, though, She-Hulk. Fuck off, mate. Bin. After re-watching She-Hulk, I went so light on that show. That show stinked, mate. 
it was an absolute stinker. It's in the bin. I think, I think that's actually now we've got maybe one more bin. <laughs> Werewolf by Night was, I'm going to go average. I'm going to put it, I'm gonna put Werewolf by Night there. I think, I think that's fair. Maybe. I don't think average is the right word, man. I wouldn't say Ant-Man is average, bruv. Do you know what? We're going to do a last minute change. Hold up, yeah? Wham. That, that, that's better. Because Ant-Man isn't average, it's a good movie. I give it seven. That's above average. Average is five. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to leave it like that. So, sorry, if you got to this point of the video, you probably haven't put unsubscribed. But let, let's keep going. Wakanda Forever was very good. I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to put it here. Should it be? Nah, bro. It needs to go higher and it needs some more respect, man. I, I, I'm going to put Wakanda Forever there. I think it's weird. I'd rather watch Iron Man 2 over Wakanda Forever because of like the emotions. It's just an easier time. But overall, I, I, I'm fully aware Wakanda Forever is, is is way better than anything else under it, like Legions. In fact, I'd even say it's better than Moon Knight probably. But for like my own thing, for what I like, I, I'm gonna leave it there, man. Ant-Man Quantumania there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think it's better than Thor Love and Thunder. Actually, no, it ain't, bruv. Who am I? I'm, I'm lying to you, mate. It, it, go down one, bruv. You, 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 the villain Kang was sick, but he got embarrassed, mate. At least Gore the God Butcher wasn't embarrassing. I'd rather watch Ant-Man Quantumania than Thor 2 and definitely Black Widow. So I, I think, I think we're cool so far still. Guardians 3, ah, uh, mate. I'm gonna put it. What did I prefer, Guardians 3 or Loki? I think Guardians 3 is up here, mate. Epic, off the bottom. Yeah, Guardians 3, I may give it 9 out of 10. It's going to be 9 still. Uh, I've seen it twice now. It's going to make my top favourite movies of this year, 2023. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very good. This might shock some people, yeah? The Christmas special, I'm going to put down here, mate. In fact, now I'm going to put it above Falcon and Winter Soldier. That made me tear up doing the reaction. If you want to see it, it's in the Marvel playlist down below. Secret Invasion... I've seen it twice now. Again, I let it off the hook way too much. It was pretty bad. I'm going to put Secret Invasion here. Mm, nah, I'm going to put it there, bro. I I'd rather see Captain Marvel punch people over Secret Invasion. They're both bad. I'm going to skip one just real quick. Loki Season 2. Uh, I'm going to put Very Good. I'm going to put it here. I think there's good. I still think Season 1's better just for the pace. The ending of Season 2 was amazing. But there's a lot of downtime, man. I think that's fair. Uh, I give it 8.5 or 8 out of 10, something like that, I think. And now for the last one. This is well hard, bruv. We got The Marvels, the one I reviewed like three days ago at the time of this recording. Bad or is it bin-worthy, mate? I'd rather watch Miss Marvel over The Marvels. Oh, mate, I'm going to have to... Do you know what? I'm going to put it there. I think I'm... I don't know if that's me being lenient. That's the list. I think I'm happy with the list. The Marvels, you're that close from getting in the bin. Maybe after a second viewing, you could end up in that bin. Bro, I'm being honest here. Yeah, Ant-Man 2 is... I cannot stand that movie, bruv. She-Hulk's the worst show by far. And The Eternals is the worst thing in all of the MCU. End of. Period, bruv. I don't want to go back on that fucking rant. This is the tier list for me for now. I think that's about right. I think that's fair. Everything in God tier for me is a 10. Epic is like 9, 9 out of 10. Uh, very good with like 7.5 to like 8.5 kind of area. Good. Six and a half to seven. Bad. We've got like, you know, from four to like five and a half. And then bin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bin is three and down, bruv. And that is the tier list, ladies and gentlemen. Is there any shockers for me, boy? If there is, let me know down below. That'd be sick. I love her. Going back and forth with the Nerd Army. You guys are the sickest. We're going to move into 2024 and hopefully get some banging MCU stuff. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.